Hey guys, okay, so in this tutorial we're going to create a custom pop-up menu in ZBrush. Pretty useful, um, you know, it, you make sure that you don't really have any wasted space with it. You're able to do a ton of things here and you're able to add pretty much whatever you want. And there's no wasted space. So what I'm just going to go and do here quickly is just restore my UI so we're kind of on the same page. Um, you don't have to do this. If you already have a custom UI, that's fine. I'm just going to go over here and just hide these menus and just I just want these areas open so I'm going to go over to preferences click and drag this with it with the icon there um, if you close any of these menus by mistake you can just go back there again just click drag and drop it and you've got it there okay next you want to go into config and make sure you enable customize okay this just means that you can customize your menus or your UI so here we're going to go to create new menu click on that give it a name. Okay, I'm just going to call it something like custom Z menu K02 maybe. So once you create it, you see it up here, you can then close this and then go to config and then just get out of it, enable customize. Once you've closed this, it moves to up here. Okay. And here it is up here. So I just want to press control alt and click on that. And it's going to ask you to assign a shortcut. I'm going to press two um, which is by the at sign and that will give it that shortcut and if you press 2 you'll see come up there and that's where it is okay so I'm just going to click on it drag it and drop it here we just want to go back to config enable customize and I want to press Control alt click and drag this you can't do this if you don't have enable customize on you just want to drop it into that menu there and you can now customize this menu okay you can drag and drop things into this so we're going to go to the tool menu which can be found in the upper menus there in case you lost it and I just want to go to geometry and then dynamesh okay this is pretty useful again you can put whatever you want but I'm just kind of showing you how I built my menu just really quickly again control alt click and drag and it'll sort of dock there groups pretty useful polish not something I really use but we'll put it in there why not okay blur and proje project as well not really something I use okay resolution definitely important so we're just going to drop that in there okay while you have enable customize on control and alt click on this on the untitled and you can rename it we're just going to call it dynamesh okay we just want to go back to preferences Control alt click and drag because we want another menu a separate one don't drag it to the bottom drag it to the top you can see that box form there and it will come to the bottom automatically again don't drag it to the bottom who is going to get the brush menu out here drag and drop that select any brushes that you want by control alt clicking and dragging those are just all the ones that I use if you can't find a brush just press B and whatever the name of the brush is so B C for clay brush so on and so forth and that is your recent brush menu so now if you press 2 on your workspace here you can already see our menu popping up and you know that that's pretty much it uh, you, you can pretty much exit at this point and you're done but if you just want to see how I sort of customize it even further we're just going to take another one drag and drop it on the top there and I just want to show you under my tools and geometry just a few tabs that I use here well actually we're going to go to deformation Um, a good one that we use, uh, that I use, is Mirror. It's very helpful. I use that in conjunction with Mirror and Weld, which I'll show you in a second. Again, Control Alt, click and drag. Just drag it to the menu there. You can then go to Geometry. We then want to go to let's close this. We want to go to Modify Topology, and you can find Mirror and Weld just up here. Okay, click and drag that. Control Alt, click and drag, and Delete Hidden is also pretty useful. Okay. So this is pretty much how I set up my menus and you can just add like you've seen me do there. Just go back to preferences and then add as many menus as you want. Rename them. Okay, I'm just going back here to split and then split hidden, which is a pretty useful one that I use. And merge. Merge down is also pretty useful. And that's, you know, that's pretty much the summary of my menu there. You can just click that to exit out of there and yeah that's pretty much it you can get out of enable customize and now we can press 2 select a brush and use it and it's very accessible it doesn't really waste any space on our menus or on our ui you can just press that select something else and you're pretty much done
You can also save your UI under preferences. So preferences, config, save UI. And you just press save and you can just save it to a config file. I'm just showing you where you can do this, but I'm not really gonna save that. Okay, and another one you wanna press is store configuration. This just means whenever you start up um, ZBrush, you want it to start up with that configuration. Now I'm gonna exit and you're gonna see the sign pop up, save changes to the hotkeys. You wanna click on yes. I'm just gonna press no because I don't need it, but that is pretty much it guys for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.